Origins is a battle of worldviews. It's the biblical creation worldview versus the evolutionary worldview. It's science, including God, versus science, excluding God. And if you believe in biblical creation, you stand shoulder to shoulder with the greatest scientist that ever lived. Here is the danger of seeing evolution as science. Evolution assumes there is no God. Then, secondly, people think that evolution proves there is no God. And they can't see that, well, that was evolution's assumption in the first place. And that's very dangerous. And sadly, children as young as five in the United Kingdom will be told that uh, evolution shows there is no God. This is an email I had after the Ham Nye debate, because I appeared in that uh, debate. I had many emails, but I wanted to share one with you. This was from a, a man called Richard. who was from the United States. And he said this, For two years, I thought about the implications of evolution by natural selection, then realized that God almost certainly didn't exist. So I tore up my Bible. But I wrote back to Richard and I said, Hang on, Richard. Evolution assumes there is no God in the first place. It hasn't proven there is no God. And I hope that he can see that and he sees the weaknesses in the theory of evolution. Why is biblical creation good science? Well, God's word explains my talk just in one sentence. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. That's what it boils down to. Just to put it another way, the fool has said in his heart, we must rule out God from science. That's what the fool has said. The fool has said, with evolution, all things are possible. That's their faith. But the truth is, all things are not possible with evolution. Only with God are all things possible. And this is why the creation ministry is so vital today. And Answers in Genesis do an outstanding job of showing that evolution is a worldview of presenting excellent evidence for biblical creation. They deserve your full support. But I've got one more, uh, one more point to make. I've written a book called Hallmarks of Design, and the message of my book is, should science rule out God? And science should not rule out God. When I wrote my book, someone said to me, why don't you send a copy of this to Prince Charles, the future king of Great Britain? And I said, I could send it, but I'm, I'm not going to get a, a response. But I did send it to Prince Charles, and I had a letter back. And Prince Charles said this, thank you so much for sending me a copy of your book, Hallmarks of Design. I'm going to use a quote from this for my wreath lectures in a few weeks' time. Those wreath lectures were broadcast to 90 million people. And I was desperate to know, what would be his quote? What's his quote going to be? How is he going to summarise the book, this future king of England? And this is what he said. Why should modern science rule out special creation? And when I heard that, I thought, there is a God. And I said to my uh, friend and colleague, uh, David DeWitt, I think Prince Charles was very brave to do that. David DeWitt said to me, actually, he's not that brave. He cannot be demoted or sacked. LAUGHTER